Kay Pisces from kpisces.com, and I'm here, Pisces, with your October 2015 love edition. Okay, so here's the cards. Let me tell y'all, shit can get crazy this month. I'm going to tell you right now, shit can get crazy. All right? <sighs> I'm feeling like some stalkerish type shit going on. I'm feeling like Somebody that you wanted to kick it with, you finally got that, and now it all held and broke loose. <laughs> I'm not to talk about my life. I'm just in, I'm feeling this thing out, okay? This is what I'm getting. So, I feel like you get a little crazy. Listen here, let me tell you something. I know you're Pisces, I know you're onto that spiritual shit, right? Don't pull all your tricks out the bag in one night, all right? Because you may create a fucking monster, okay? And if you do that... Get ready for that knock on the window. And just, just, just knock on the window, door, phone ringing. They meeting you at the. Uh, get ready. I'm, I'm just. Get ready. Cause I feel like it's gonna be some stalker ish going on. I'm just trying to tell you. I'm trying to warn you. All right. Or you may be the stalker. Hell, I see you might get a little cray cray. Like no, I'm not. I'm fucking dead serious. So let's just do some cards on it and see what's going on because I really feel the buzz from this thing. Like, it may be all good. You might be like, oh yeah, I'm spending this time. I'm doing all this. And then you turn around and this person then went ham. Like, crazy. <gasps> oh god. The card I just pulled. <laughs> Woo. Okay, y'all know what that's from. That's from Tina Turner. Movie. What's that got to do with it? Okay. Okay, the card. Ace of Wands reversed. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I get that. The Strength. Okay. This is what I guessed on. The Tower. Oh, it gets better. And the devil. Loud. I told y'all shit can be crazy. So let me just spell it out for ya. Shall we? Listen here. I told you get your shit together. Listen here. With this strength card here, this could be some lust and shit going on. Like some really good shit. Like that good shit. You know what I mean? Like that. Mm. Woo. It's like I'm playing. <laughs> okay. Can be really shit, real good shit going on. You can really feel it. Bonded with this person, you can be feeling close, you can be feeling like, oh man, we is in love and shit. Like, we just met, we love each other. <laughs> and then it just goes from zero to 60, like, zero to 60, and it really have you trying to think, you think, okay, so you happy, you know, you think everything's cool, and you starting to think, wait a minute, maybe I didn't make the wrong decision, and maybe I should have backed up when I saw the red flags, this motherfucker was a little cuckoo, perhaps. Or maybe they just like you too much. Or they're crazy. So with this Nine of Pentacles here, I really feel like she is saying for a male or a woman, male or female, is this may be you thinking about the good old days when you didn't have nobody stalking you. I'm just I, I'm just giving it to you. Okay. This tower, this, I feel like the tower is the sudden change this person can go from this or from this sexy as fuck like good I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to keep it uh pg-13 i was gonna say i was gonna say something like but i ain't on the phone okay this might be some good shits okay like you be like they go from this to this <laughs> and you be like what just happened? You know what I mean? So I really feel like things can get really fucking crazy. Now, this person, this could be you going from single really fast to couple with this person in a strong relationship. And I really feel, okay, so what I'm seeing is you could be feeling like you're in bondage or like in jail with this person. Maybe you like that. Maybe you like to have be smothered and can't breathe. 
it's fun for a minute, but um, so just be mindful whether you're single or not. Okay, I feel like this is more geared towards singles, but it could be also. I mean, obviously, it could be somebody you've been dealing with, or somebody you just start talking to, or a situation ship. I don't give a damn if you fucking with them and they're married. They could still go hate, go crazy on your ass. Just no, okay. They could go ape shit on you. All right. I just feel like it could get really crazy. If someone comes back, they could be feeling like you're not giving them the time of day. All right. And shit start going really crazy. It's just so many things. Like I feel like I see this tornado. If it's an ex. I see this tornado of them wanting you to jump, right, come back, I want to be with you, this is what we're going to do, you're going to be with me, that kind of shit, like, being really aggressive about trying to get you back, but they fucked up, so when I said juiced, I said juiced, you slow that ass down, because you fucked up, what you want from me, <laughs> anyway, back to you, Bob, at the news desk, okay, so, I just really, this is so crazy. I feel it might be some shocking things happen. Mid to late month, you might just get into a relationship really fast. Some of y'all might get married really fast and then regret it. Some of you may get married fast and be happy. I just feel like this thing, this month will be, I feel like it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild and crazy and it can be out of control and just... Unexpected things are going to happen this month, I feel. Just boom, boom, boom. And what you thought you wanted can turn out to be something good, but it can also be something obsessive and smothering. And you know what I mean? This person can try to like consume you, try to take all your time. They can be jealous and passive aggressive, or they can be jealous and overtly jealous. So just be mindful of that because, um, Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Zeus. Okay, listen. Nine of Swords. Okay, this is the stress, all right, from this person. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. Then we got Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, for me, I feel like right now in this instance, it would be this person like sneaking around trying to like watch you and see what you're doing, and, like reading your social media or riding by your house and just doing all kinds of shit trying to keep tabs on you. Okay, so if you want to stay with this person, I encourage you to open up and be completely honest with them and tell them what's really going on. But um, if your ass don't want them, get ready. Get ready. If you hold back, if you open up, this is what's going to happen. If you hold back, <clears throat> you may want to kind of slow down a little bit with this person and look at them from all angles and see what you're really looking at here. You know what I mean? Because you can look at a painting in a frame online and it may not be a real picture. You got to walk around and get a look. Feel them out. Feel them out. Feel them out. Because I feel like it's a lot of things that I, I feel like if you pay attention and hopefully you know, you can feel the, th the words that are coming from them and what's going on with them. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm all into my world. <laughs> Pisces, just be careful. It may not be dangerous, okay? It just may be a little obsessive. But then it could be crazy as all hell because we got the devil in the tower. I mean, hell, your ass might be in the hospital. Who knows? I mean, down now on one for emergencies. But um, it'd be good at first. It'd be good. It'd be like, oh, I got this. Look at that. This thing is, that thing is... <sighs> Find as shit and then turn around. That motherfucker crazy. Male or female, don't matter. All of them crazy. What's levels to crazy, honey? Anyway, Pisces, good luck on that. <laughs> good luck. This could last for months, just so you know. So this may like override other readings. I just, because I see it like going over speed bumps and just going on with you. So anyway, guys, K Pisces from kpisces.com. Check me out. For tell all, no holes bar reading, no lies, no lies, no lies, honey. You want lies? Look in the mirror, cause I ain't got none for you. All right, y'all.